What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm with my friend Chris right here and we are on our way to the chiropractor. <laughs> I don't know what it's in English, chiropractor probably. It's probably chiropractor. But uh, we have uh, a thing with a chiropractor here in Eindhoven. Uh, what a chiropractor pretty much does, I'll have them explain it actually, but pretty much you know you get your neck cracked, your back and all that stuff. So uh, we're gonna do that today. I am really low-key kind of nervous because I've never had it done before to me. Uh, I went there on Wednesday and they did a, like a, a little bit of, an, uh, of a scan of my back and there was a lot of pressure where there shouldn't be any pressure. There was a lot of imbalances where there should be, shouldn't be any imbalances. So uh, they're going to fix that uh, with a couple um, of times that I'm going to go there. So I'm going to take you guys with me on this adventure and, and Hughes right here is going to help me film because uh, I cannot really do that while I'm being cracked. You know, so uh, I'm gonna hand the camera to him now, and um, I want to give a quick shout out first to Lord Timepieces for sponsoring the video. I appreciate you. Um, I like the watch. I'm full black today, by the way. I got my new face clan gear on. I got an Alpha Elite. I got the black watch. I'm all black today. Let's do it. Before we look at um, the photo of your posture, I want to show you what we look for if we had taken X-rays okay. and what we see when we take the posture photos. Okay, so then you get a good understanding of what we do. Okay. When we look at the spine, if we had to take a photo of the spine, a nice healthy spine, we'd have a nice curve, the spaces would be nice and even, and the bones would be nice and square. Yeah. Okay. Now typically after trauma, an accident, and in your case you had fractured your shoulder, yeah. had surgery, okay, that's a trauma and it puts that body under stress. And what happens is our neck goes out of alignment like this, when it's straight up and down and you begin to lean forward. Okay. okay. Now if we don't get it corrected in phase one, next phase, phase two. And in phase two, we get thinning of the spaces between the bones and we get these rough edges around the bones. If we don't get that corrected, phase three. Phase three, we get these bony areas sticking off the bones known as osteophytes, more pain, more degeneration. And if we don't get that corrected, last phase, phase four. And that's when yes. we can't help you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lifetime of problems in the surgeries yeah. and medication. That's, of course, where we don't want to be, right? Yeah, of course. So we can make a difference for you up here. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Correct. Right. Just having a look at your posture photo. So I'm going to just put it up here so you can just see it. So having a look at the posture, nice. what do you think? My exactly. Neck is very forward, yeah. So when you look at the phases, where do you think you are? Uh, I would say the problem is between one and two. Agreed, okay. Because what happens is you can see that this neck is gonna be quite a bit straighter, so you yeah. are going to be leaning forward. Now I ideally, yeah, ideally you wanna be in line. You can even see that. <laughs> oh my God, okay. yeah, that's bad. So we've got a lot of work. Normally, the muscles that sit back here are able to move and stretch. But when your neck is as straight as you are in that position. More stiff. Exactly. And that's gonna to lead to stress, and every day you're gonna have things like neck pain, shoulder pain, headaches. That makes sense. Fatigue, stress, exactly. A few of the things you're really suffering yeah, yeah. from. Okay, so first thing, we've gotta get that curve corrected in your neck. Okay, important. Not only for now, but the future. I know that you, your followings and what you do in your business, fitness coach, what you look like is important to you, right? Yeah, yeah. And we do not want to be heading this way anytime no. soon. When we come in, we're going to have you lie down on your stomach. That's a great part of the, it's the start of the care mm -hmm. because it relaxes all the muscles. Yeah. Okay, so let's begin there. So lie flat on your stomach. Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how your body functions and the balance in your body and then make those corrections. A little bit of discomfort here. So first thing we do is we use a drop on the pelvis, okay? This is to help balance out the pelvis and to get the alignment correct. So this is what it sounds like. It's not your body. It's the bed that makes most of the noise. Good. That literally scared me. Not <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's why we always show you first. Now what we do is exactly the same with me contacting your pelvis, okay? okay. Not so bad, right? Mm -hmm. Good. We'll do two more of those. Good. So what we do now is we're just having a look at your neck, making sure everything is where it needs to be. Okay. So you've got a subluxation here, and we're going to correct that. Mm -hmm. What we do is we do that with an adjustment. You hear a pop sound. It sounds loud because it's close to your ears. Okay. But it's not uncomfortable. Beautiful. Right, nice and relaxed. Let me just. Good. Not too uncomfortable there. Right, we can do the same thing on the other side. Nice and relaxed for me. 
back door. Jesus fucking Christ. Now, what happened there is we got that subluxation corrected. The sound doesn't determine the adjustment, but I know that it moved beautifully. Good. It felt Good. really <laughs> Really intense. Okay, it's a very small amount of movement. It was a really, really good one. So here I want you to take a deep breath in and out and nice and relax and just look forward for me. Beautiful. Well done. <laughs> How good did that feel? Very good. Lovely. So you can sit face to either side. Let's confirm that we've got a lot of movement in there. Good morning. 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 <laughs> look up to the ceiling for me and down. Good. And up. So. Did so good though. Yeah, thank you. You did <laughs> well. well. Done. <laughs> it was uh, really interesting. The, the one in the neck was really like. Yeah. And a yeah, lot of, the, yeah. back also. Yeah, and it sounded loud. Very, yeah. And the reason also, a lot of times people are scared by that sound because it is so close to the ear, so it yeah. sounds really loud to you. No, I, I'm, I'm used to the cracking of the neck, so. And exactly. And, but now that it's now specific, you can feel the difference, right? Yeah. 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 No, I And I do, I know Annika spoke to you about trying not to click your own back, which is important. It, oh, she didn't tell me that. Okay, so what we want to do is make sure not to adjust yourself. Because we, I don't. <laughs> so, I do that literally five times a day. Okay, try and attempt not to do it, and uh, and that's why it was so big. Yeah, really good. Cool, awesome. Good. That was great. Good. Let me know how you feel, and then yeah. uh, we're gonna see you Monday again. So Monday, okay. You can just book in with Annika. What works best for you, um, and what times work best for you? I'm training on Monday, so how does okay. it work with training and like? Perfect, great question. So what we do is we normally don't advise you to train on the days after the adjustment because we want the body to settle. So sometimes it can disrupt the changes we've made. Okay. But as we go, we can see how the body works and how it changes, and then we can decide what training and how much you can do. Oh, what's up, everybody? Day number two here at the chiropractor. We just came here um still have a little bit of pain in my neck obviously it's not after the first thing that they fix everything so hopefully it's gonna crack me up a little bit more um i'll ask her today a little bit more about sleeping and how the best way of sleeping is because i tend to sleep in my stomach when my neck turned it's obviously not good so i'm gonna ask her about that nice you said easy with the train you didn't train at all this no morning, i didn't man. at all so must have missed it man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling those, eh? It's already going. Yeah. Good. And how did that feel? Uh, quite alright. I still feel a little bit here. Yes. Now, you'll find as well, once we've done these adjustments and the corrections, that the muscles take a little bit longer to get comfortable again. So you okay. feel that kind of muscle ache. Good. That's it already? That's it. That's all that's needed. Right. So, I have one question yeah, for you. How is it with sleep? What's the best sleeping position? Because I sleep on my stomach sometimes. Yes. Which is really bad. <laughs> yeah. So what's the best way of sleeping? Okay, so the best position to sleep in is normally on your side with your spine in line. So you'd want to have your head straight in line with your spine. So not too close to the pillow uh -huh. and not too far away. So you want to keep your spine as straight as possible. Okay. So this gap is even. Also, what works really well is to put a pillow between your knees, slightly bend the knees just to keep the hips nice and square as well. Ah, okay. Good. Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking is like, it feels really satisfying. But also kind of scary. It's scary because someone's pulling your neck. You know, you're very deep down. You're um, you feel it's very deep inside you. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> That's so <laughs> weird to say. But you feel it very deep inside your neck. But the relief is super nice. But I like this. Uh, I like Kelly because Kelly is super nice for one. She's great on camera too. And um, she um. She knows what, you're, what she's doing, so um, as she said, this thing is moving. We're doing this three times a week. She says consistency is very important. I'm going to put my camera there now because I am driving. Chat later. Yeah. That's fine. You can do that. All right. Well, we'll start on the stomach today. Okay. Cool. That's all I've done so far. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, just like your workout results, mm -hmm. you get those from consistency. Yes. Actually, I just saw your, um, that was Instagram, you were talking about that. Yeah, it's And that's super the same important. with, uh, I'm sure you already know with diets, right? Yep. You don't just eat healthy for a week or to lose weight, right? Exactly, you do it for a long time. Yeah. And that's the same with uh, chiropractic, you make these long-term corrections. Mm -hmm. So if they hold a little bit, we just have to stay consistent. Bye -bye. Yeah. So it seems a little boring and redundant at the beginning, but so the results. The yeah. You've been a few times now already by Kelly. 
How many times have you done already? Oh, twice. <laughs> the neck is a fucking pain. <laughs> We're gonna go on your back and I'm gonna do this one a little deeper, actually. Right? Right. Luckily, it's just this yeah, one right here. The biggest component is gonna be your neck. Yeah, let's go face up, just laying on your back. Okay. Like that side. Go on. Yeah, good man. Jesus Christ. It's scary. You did really good though with your relaxation. Oh! <laughs> Good man. Pretty much. Woo! That was it. Yeah. Good to go. That was intense. <laughs> okay. So this is Kelly, and we already recorded this clip, but I forgot to put the mic on. <laughs> How good of a YouTuber am I? Not a very good one. But Kelly's the chiropractor and she's gonna a little bit explain a little bit more about what chiropractor is, what it does, and why we all should kind of do it or have yeah, it healthy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so Great. off you go. Okay, so we all have spines and it's very important for us to make sure that our spines are looked after. Why? Because all the nerves from our brain send information from our brain to the rest of the body from the spine. So making sure that it's working at its absolute best is important. What we do as a chiropractor is we make sure that we locate, analyze, and detect where the areas of the spine aren't moving, which is known as a subluxation. We correct those and make sure that you function at your absolute best. Yes. No, we did it twice now. <laughs> you still look great. She's so natural on camera. I'm just gonna do it again. I love what I do, but I'm not made for camera. You're natural. Yes, you are made for camera, Kelly. Yeah. Uh, I don't have to forget this this time. Yeah, don't forget that. Cool. Take care. Have a lovely day, eh? Hey? Yeah, you too. Talk soon. Ciao, ciao. Talk soon. <laughs> All right, uh, back in the car. Um, we just did, this was, I think, the fourth or the third time we got cracked up. Time to go home. I think I'm going to end this video because my next appointment is next week. And, um, uh, we'll just do another video on this because I want to make videos on this. And, uh, if you have any other questions about chiropractic, like the stuff that they do here leave them in the comments because i can answer them and ask them uh to her uh for the next video so we can do this video is a bit more like a like a, a standard video um you guys got introduced to it i got introduced to it too and you guys got introduced to it with me um so hopefully we can ask some more advanced questions maybe next time and ask her a little bit more about uh training and all that stuff so um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. I'm gonna drive, not vlog, and I'll check to you later. Oh, by the way, um, me and Vera are going to, me and Vera are going to Amsterdam tomorrow for two days, having a little bit of a date, two days date, uh, fun times with each other. I'm gonna make sure, make sure to record and vlog all of it because it's gonna be fun, and um, we'll see you guys in Amsterdam. Deuces. <laughs>